Hey guys, Richard here. In this week's video, I will be covering the difference between two words, specifically the difference between Nihon and Nippon, both of which mean Japan. Most textbooks will teach you that the word for Japan is Nihon, and that is not wrong. But what is this other word, Nippon? It's printing out the money you may hear in the movies and anime, and apparently it means the same thing as Nihon. Which may be confusing for a lot of people. Uh, I was confused about this as well. So which one should you prefer in a conversation? Is one more correct than the other one? These questions will be answered by the end of the video. A little disclaimer beforehand though. I did a lot of research on this topic with Riko-chan. Turns out there's no absolute definite answer to these questions. So please don't misinterpret this video as a collection of facts. While some are facts, some will be stories from long, long time ago. So there's no real way how to reliably verify that kind of information. So with that, let's jump into it. To get a better, better understanding of these words, we should look into the past a little bit more. You see, the kanji is the same for both, both pronunciations. However, back in the day, when hiragana just started to be a thing in Japan, there were no dark critics in hiragana, so Nippon had no choice but to be written as Nihon. The educated people know the correct way was Nippon, but the writing was not as evolved, and as such, the uneducated people would say Nihon instead. It kind of stuck, so nowadays you may encounter both readings. There is uh, one actual difference in, in, in these words, though, and that would be Nihon sounds softer as opposed to Nippon. And since Japanese put, uh, put a lot of emphasis on sounding nice and polite, uh, although the impolite versions exist as well, Nihon is preferred so as to not sound as aggressive. After World War II, Japan was called Dai Nippon Teikoku which means something like Empire of Japan or the Great Japanese Empire. That was the official name, and it was using Nippon, not Nihon. The name changed eventually, and that's why nowadays it's more common to refer to Japan as Nihon, but older people may still call, it, call, may still call Japan Nippon, because they still remember the old name. As of 2009, the Japanese Prime Minister officially decided that Japan may be called either Nihon or Nippon, meaning both are uh, correct. For now, at least. This may change in the future, but for now, it's uh, both are cool. Also, regarding the money. When people got together and they were deciding the design and such, uh, they have gathered in Kagoshima, in Kyushu. The thing is, uh, the thing with Kagoshima is that particular part of Japan is known for preferring stronger pronunciation, meaning they kind of have like a strong dialect. And this is this probably has been a great influence uh, when they were deciding whether to put Nihon or Nippon on the money. So to summarize everything, originally Nippon was the correct way to call Japan, but over time Nihon became correct as well. So when, um, when speaking Japanese and you're not sure which one to use, I recommend sticking with Nihon so as to not sound as aggressive or whatever. As for Japanese people themselves, some studies were done and um, they choose one reading over another depending on the word itself, meaning they use both. The funny part is neither one is wrong nor correct. So yeah, there you go. Welcome to the Japanese language. Okay, that's it from me today. If today's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next one.